What's up, everybody? It's the Digital World Podcast. Here we're going to see uh, different things. And, uh, I mean, there's been a lot of stuff happening in the last, you know, week or so. Um, primarily uh, something huge in the news, which is the exchange FTX um, in the crypto markets. It's been a huge deal. Um, and if you look into the connections associated with it, I'm of the opinion that um, the CEO, right, was just a, one of the pawns in the game. And whether they um, his connections to the World Economic Forum, his parents, and all these people that are tied into this, it's a very interesting rabbit hole. But I think like a situation like this, and that's happened in FTX, which they filed for bankruptcy. Anyone who had holdings on that exchange basically lost all their crypto. So something like this um, allows for people to call on for regulations in the digital asset space. And I think in the greater uh, scheme of things, what you're going to see is the people will call for the regulations, these very regulations that will be used against you um, in the future for CBDCs. And I do believe this is setting up the framework for what will be a uh, central bank digital currency. And people don't see it right now. Um, and with good reason. And I'll, I will get a lot of backlash for, for saying something like that. Um, but that's where I think this is, excuse me, where this is tending. And you have to be very cautious because initially um, things look like it's a, you know, like, oh, this is a good thing. It'll protect investors, yada, yada, yada. But down the road, when it's all said and done, you end up in this place where um, you don't even recognize what it used to be, uh, at least the space. So that's my two cents. And sorry, I have uh, haven't put out content, but that's been the crazy event that's happened the last week or so. Here we see worst home buying conditions in history. We see the weakest home buying conditions that are on record. Soaring mortgage rates have sent um, the U.S. housing market into a tail spin. And here we see the share saying that it's a bad time to buy a home. And then um, the index of buying conditions related to interest rates. So it's at negative levels. And you can see all the way back to the 70s, right? Here we see your regular reminder that people are holding buttloads or boatloads of cash because the Fed has created boatloads of cash, well, currency, and indirectly bank reserves and cash on reverse repo buy something with it and the seller gets it. It has to be held by someone until the Fed retires it. So you see that it has gone exponentially up since 2020. We see here big news. Used car prices are about to fall below the year a go average price. This is excellent news for consumers. The wholesale price um, prices have gone crushed in the past 30 to 60 days, but now retail prices are finally starting to catch up. So here you see 2021, right? Going up and this is 2022 and that market is coming down. Uh, here is FedEx announcing that they're going to begin driver furloughs next month which is December, that's in like two weeks. And you're seeing this in shipping companies doing it right before Christmas. And um, you're going to see this other article here. Amazon is reportedly planning to lay off about 10,000 employees starting this week. So heading into the holidays, folks. Uh, usually these companies are getting ready for the Cyber Monday and the Christmas shopping that's happening, you know. Black Friday deals, right? Well, no one's buying. Everyone's um, tightened up their belts. And these are layoffs that are happening as we speak. And so we need to be preparing for the inevitable. Okay, here we see. Now, this is interesting. This person, Game of Trades, posted, if Dixie follows its past peaks, it's game over for the currency. And so you have to be careful like like um santiago says consider both sides think for yourself and don't be sheep do your own assessment you know obviously i present data from both angles 
and you you know come to the conclusion of what you think is is gonna happen right and so here i mean we've seen this happen before but if it does go down they'll signal interesting times for the markets usually remember the higher the dollar goes up the like obviously it's strengthening relative to other currencies don't think it's like a good um it doesn't mean it's um going up so if it keeps going up markets are going to suffer but if the dollar goes down markets will do well and that's that's a very generic statement it's very loose so don't take it as a, a very um, direct meaning now here is a footage of two uh F uh b17 bomber and one of the smaller planes at the dallas air show i thought this was crazy insane wow so anyways that does it for, for today thank you for watching like and subscribe to the channel it's the digital world podcast and i'll see you in the next episode.